It is time for Seen and Unseen, where we reveal the stories behind the headlines. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Raymond, Google just shut down its artificial intelligence image bot because it was spitting out erroneous images. Is there any humor in this or is it all just bad news? We're well, there's a lot of humor. Look, in their quest to be inclusive, Laura, random races started to being imposed on <laughs> historic figures. For instance, when you type in founding fathers, this is what Washington looked like. Uh, do you, do you want to see a pope? How about this? Mm. How about a Roman oh. How about a Roman emperor or an astronaut? Uh, now. This is just the result of the info Google put into the robot lore, which is an attempt to promote diversity. OK, this is Jen Janai. She oversees Google's AI responsibility initiative. Uh, I think it's OK to talk about things that you've made mistakes in because we will make mistakes when we're trying to be good allies, when we're trying to be anti-racist, we will make mistakes. The point is, though, to keep trying, to keep educating yourself and getting better day to day. <laughs> well, Google in a statement, Raymond, is admitting that they have, quote, missed the mark here and are ending the images of people for now. But I don't know. It's it's kind of convenient. Like, oh, we missed the mark. You think? <laughs> miss mm -hmm. the mark? They're completely rewriting history or attempting right. At, on the road to rewriting history to make it more well, diverse and inclusive, which is what they're doing in a lot of remakes of films and historic biopics, all that kind of stuff. Right. And look, diversity is a wonderful thing. Look, I'm all for it. Let's include everybody. But you can't distort history here, Laura. The fact is George Washington was white. The fact is there were three African popes. Let's show them. That's fine. That's a good thing to see. But when you deprive people of their races or you jumble them up the way Google is here, you're not allowing the future to profit from the glories or the struggles of those who went before. You know, we're given an inheritance with the past. It's our obligation to pass it on to the next generation intact, not remake it as we want to imagine it or as we think it should be. That is nonsense. Well, they don't so like I'm the glad past. they're shutting this down. Well, you're, you're too naive. Yeah, you're naive, okay? You're very smart, <laughs> okay. but you're also naive. They don't care about the past. They think the past is corrupt and we're an awful, rotten, racist country. That's what they think. So they want to eliminate all the, you know, the old, you know, vestiges of the past and create a new world, a new world order, a new world understanding yeah. that doesn't include those old archaic figures. Well, um, you know, I know you were doing some kids, searches today. And I have, you know, our children may not remember the present as we see it. Now, I did an AI search and I asked them to give me an image of TV host oh. Laura Ingram. Look what happened. Now, that doesn't, now, come on, that doesn't look like you. But she was a big deal. She was a big deal in TV. Poor Sally, Jesse, Raphael. So I tried again. Tough I interviewer, Laura Ingram. Well, that's not her either. So I tried blonde, well, she's Laura rich. Ingram. And look who I got. Tia Leone, getting closer. That could be the forthcoming Ingram, what? the miniseries, Laura. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Very funny. Very funny. All right. I did the same thing with you, and I had to oh. get some help to do this, but I typed in Raymond Arroyo Follies, and I tried Raymond Arroyo Big Band Singer. Oh, you got it right. Uh, the second one you got right. Good. That was the right combo, Laura. Now, we got to move on to speaking of biting humor. Uh, remember when Joe Biden brought Commander to the White House, his dog? He seemed like such a good boy. He's a puppy. Well, he was a so good boy, cute. Laura, until he saw his first Secret Service agent. Biden, Biden <laughs> never did get control of that animal, Laura. You know, McGruff, the dog, oh. took a bite out of crime. This dog took a bite out of every Secret Service agent he ever saw. Outrageous. CNN got its hand on, on unseen Secret Service documents. Listen to this. 
There were at least 24 specific incidents with the Secret Service, and I want to read you this email from an unnamed assistant, assistant special agent. Agents must be creative to ensure our own personal safety. And exactly one month after that email, an agent working at the Biden's Rehoboth Beach, Delaware home was bit in the backyard as he walked to his post. It caused a severe, deep, open wound that the agent started to lose a significant amount of blood. Laura, he what? bled all over the carpet. Oh, yeah. We had not been told any of this. 24 attacks Carnage. on the Secret Service. That's, n that's not counting the White House staff. Now, the question is, how was this animal, first, uh, first of all, allowed to continue to do this? If your dog or mine did this repeatedly, you know what would happen. Animal control would take it and put it down. The Biden dog went on and on and on. Thank goodness they moved that dog out of the White House. It's the least they could do. Well, you know, they, Democrats are never good on recidivism, right? It's just a turnstile. They get punished, and then they just all the criminals just go out. So same thing with the dog. By the way, I noticed the dog was on the couch, OK? Not yes. a good idea. I know we love our dogs, but when the dog gets on the couch, the dog feels like they can dominate you. That's Brian Kilcommons, oh. my smart puppy author, always told me that. Well, all right, somebody Raymond. did something to this I'm dog. I'm going to go back to the... Yeah, a 24 bite rule. I thought it was the two bite right. rule. Now it's the 24 bite. It's inflation. I guess. Bite inflation. All right, Raymond, <laughs> thanks. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.